Miss S., are you okay in there? Well, actually, I've been having some diarrhea. Oh, yes. I want to talk to you about that when you get back to your room. Okay, I'll be out in a minute. It smells really bad in here. I don't want anyone coming in. Oh, no, no one will come in. There's some spray underneath the cabinet if you need it. I know you have some questions. Um, I have put a contact sign up, and I'm wearing a gown and gloves to protect myself and other patients. Um, Dr. Turner, when we talk with you about what's going on, um, we got the results of your stool sample back, and you have what's called Clostridium difficile. It's called C. diff for short. And uh, some of the signs and symptoms are diarrhea, sometimes even bloody diarrhea, um, dehydration. Basically, it causes an inflammation of your colon, and it's from being on a lot of antibiotics. Um, everyone has C. diff in their intestines anyway, but usually the good bacteria ward that off. They keep the levels down. But when you're on all these antibiotics, it kills all those good bacteria, and it causes it to flare up. And so we are going to put you on an antibiotic called Flagyl, and it's going to go through your IV, and if that's not effective, we'll try vancomycin. Okay, so I just need to remind my visitors that they need to wash their hands before they come in, um, wear the yellow gown and gloves, um, and then yes. wash their hands after they leave. Isn't there a 15-second rule? Yes, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is a good song to sing while you're washing your hands. That's a good rule of thumb. And hand washing with soap and water is extremely important for this type of bacteria. Um, just the regular alcohol foam outside the doors like in most hospitals will not be effective in killing the bacteria. Okay, um, my next question is, is there some kind of medication that I can take for this diarrhea? Um, can I have some Imodium? Um, no, the ammonium will keep that bacteria in your intestines. You want to get rid of it. You need, you need to poop it out. So we'll try the flagell and the vancomycin. Okay, so in summary, what you're saying is um, when I came into the hospital, um, because of my pneumonia, mm -hmm. I was on all those really powerful um, IV antibiotics, mm -hmm. and those caused the um, good bacteria in my colon to be not as effective as the bad bacteria, this, this C. diff bacteria, and so now mm -hmm. it's taken over. That's correct. So I have to allow my body to get rid of that naturally. Yes. Um, and Dr. Turner is going to put me on a new IV medication called Flagyl, and hopefully yes. that will take care of the problem. That's correct. And if not, then we will try um, another IV medication called vancomycin. That's correct. Okay. Well, I'm pretty good about washing my hands um, anyways, but I'm just going to have to be extra diligent. Yes, yes, that's very, very important. Okay. Do you have any more questions? I think that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. Um, I, of course, was a little worried when I saw the sign on the door and you in gown and gloves, uh, which I'm not used to, but I, I feel much better now. Thank you. Excellent. You're welcome. Well, if you have any more questions, let me know, and I will provide you with some handouts of flagellin and vancomycin for you to look over. Thank you. Thank you.